hi there everyone welcome to another trevor's terrarium here at geektopia island i'm cardwell i'm kevin that's trevor today uh we're revisiting a, a old deck that we did with the new champion but we're actually coming back on an older champion to pretty much show you that that guy is kind of worthless sorry not sorry but with that uh before we do we go remind you that we do have a patreon it only takes a dollar to support us and we really appreciate you and for helping us grow and evolve and the link will be down below for that today we are playing the simple life it is another basic unit deck but it is with liam trader of knights because he's the best white champion out there and he's going to give you more bang for your buck especially with the the augments that you can get for your basic units especially that one that we'll, we'll get to it but it's really awesome yeah so what he does is when you destroy opponent's tower you can add one gear from your deck to your hand and then once per turn discard one gear from your hand target unit gets plus 500 this turn that's just good he's so strong because when you kill a thing you get card advantage yeah. and then you can use cards in your hand to save your dudes yeah and we know there's always an augment that you throw in the graveyard comes back anyway so yeah. it all helps out now we are using the spirit of Urvatolvus because it's the best red yeah. spirit. Dude's good. Or best spirit in general, I think. So exhaust <clears> plays <throat> you, target unit gets plus 1,000 this turn, and it costs four or more, gets destroyer this turn. Amazing. Soul Burst, all your units get plus 1,000 this turn, just in case they do board white or whatnot. Yeah, helps you save your dude, and it just makes the dude bigger to kill things. And if you have a four drop, you're like, cool, I'll kill some extra towers. Exactly. All right, the first guy we got in the deck is the Hildian Trainee. He is a one drop 1000 basic unit, yep. so easy mode. The next one is the Argent card of uh, Hokian Fighter. It's a two drop 1500, just a basic unit. Uh, next is the two drop Warrior of Hope. He's a 1500 basic unit. And then we have the Warrior of Valor, which is a three drop basic unit. It's a 3000, which is pretty strong for three. Next up is the Rainbow Knight. He is a three drop 2500 basic unit. Yep. Which is kind of weird that the other one's at 3,000 and he's, I don't know, but whatever, it <laughs> works. And the first special unit that we actually have in the deck is a Xyla, Speaker of Highlander. It's a three drop 1500, she's an elf mystic. Expel this card. If you do not control a unit with abilities, search your deck for up to two basic units with combined total cost of five or less and put them into play. Destroy them at the end of the next turn. So therefore with her on your opponent's turn, you expel her, get two dudes, and then on your turn, you can swing in with them and just go crazy. Seems like that. Just They're there to fight and get rid of towers as fast as possible. Next, we have the Astral of Valor. He is a four drop 2500 with Brawler. If you control two or more basic units, you may play this card from your discard zone as though it were in your hand, and then sacrifice a basic unit, put a basic unit from your hand into play. Yeah. So even what we were saying with her, you can use those dudes they're supposed to die at the end of turn anyway, so you sacrifice one, put a new dude into play with a card above it. Which is pretty cute. And then this dude just, it has Brawler, so it kills anything it needs to when it comes in, and it can be played from your graveyard. Yeah. Super, super strong. Exactly. Or even with Xyla just being the only one on the field, you sack, two dudes come to play, this is in the discard zone, you can play it then, and there's more value with that yeah. as well. Aurea, Fragment of Genesis. It's the six drop 4,000 uh, card that we... Disagreed upon, but Kevin was yeah, right. I was like, hold on. <clears throat> like, hold on, this is great. It's a legendary astral, brawler, guardian. This card costs one less to play for each non-token basic uh, unit you control. Arrive. Put up to two target basics units from the discard zone with combine it five or less into play, so done. Once per turn, sacrifice a non-basic unit, recover this card, and it gains immortal. So you can swing again for the win, or just protect it forever, because all you have is basic units. Yeah. And if you hard cast this, you get two extra free dudes, and it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's insane. It's really good, amazing, super powerful, and will win you the game pretty yeah. much. All right, now we go into the uh, non-creatures of the deck. We got Ketsu, the Living Armor, which is probably the best augment in white, just because it's free yep. pretty much. So one drop equipped to a unit. Any damage will be dealt is reduced by 500. Whenever one of your light units attacks, you may equip this card from your discards onto that unit, and you can only have one per dude. But... That, it's a free in this deck in this deck it's really good because liam's just like cool discard this to give him plus 500 and then swing this dude he gets it for free so yeah. you still get to equip this no, and you get extra value yeah exactly uh this one you can actually get to <clears throat> astrolic regalia it's a one drop augment equip to target unit the unit gets plus 500 but wait there's more basic units equipped with this card game guardian and target attack and 1000 instead so it's just you're really huge swinging really really nicely uh, next is the Shard Sword Nova. It is a one-drop insta-cast spell. 
As an additional cost to play this card, discard a one gear or sacrifice a gear you control. Destroy a target unit with three cost. Yeah. Or less. So, again, you, you can use the Ketsu for this way. You're like, cool, kill my gear, kill your dude. Swing. Swing, get back Ketsu. Thanks. All value. Omega Magic Hikari. Of course, it has to be here. It's a two drop insta cast. Put into play well, one night token of Guardian. That's a 1,000. Or if you have two or less uh, towers in rain, put into two tokens instead. And this wins games as well. Yeah. Just late game, you're like, all right, I have two attacking dudes to win. Uh, and this is probably the, one of the best gears in the game. The Shining Shard Dagger is a two drop. Uh, it gets 500 in quickness. So you can attack the turn you get it. Yep. And that's what makes this so good. Oh, yeah. There's a Hydalia Astralic Sanctum. It's a two drop location. Uh, exhaust, pay one. Target. Light unit you control gets plus 1,000 this turn. If it's a basic unit, draw a card. You're going to be drawing cards every turn no matter what with this thing. Mm -hmm. And then exhaust, sacrifice this card and a light unit. Recover target unit. If it's basic, draw a card. So this is only, do it only if you can swing and win the game pretty much. Otherwise, you're just going to constantly draw cards yeah. with this. And then finally, we have the Astralic Judgment, which is a four drop spell. As additional cost to play this card, expel any number of basic units from your hand or from the field that you control. Destroy a number of units and or augments your opponent controls equal to the equal to or less than the number of cards expelled this way. Then draw a card for each card destroyed this way. So you get to be like, I need to get rid of these dudes, kill yours, yep. and you get to draw free cards. And no matter if they can be targeted or not, you can still do it because it just says any number. It doesn't target the enemy, so you can just board wipe them, draw a bunch of cards, and it's great. Yeah, and again, if you have Zillia in play, you get to use those two that you get back from her for free value. Yeah. Because they're already going to die, so you might as well. Exactly. So with that, that is the deck. The deck list will be down below. And for the shards, we're just using the Ruby, Legendary Ruby Shard and just Argent Saga ones. No reason to use the Wyvern Crystal because we have no dragons. So. Yeah. Hey, why no, not? No need for that. But with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia. You have a good day. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.